International High School has been offering the IB since 1978. That's nearly 40 years. We were the first IB school on the West Coast and the fourth in the nation. So what makes the IB so attractive in three bullet points, three takeaways? One, the IB is a holistic, connected curriculum where interdisciplinary approaches, global perspectives, and critical thinking are the norm. Two, colleges and universities love IB graduates. They are well prepared and succeed once admitted. Three, IB teachers are high performing professionals. Whether they have been teaching for one or 25 years, they are every single year peer reviewed by colleagues around the world, and samples of the work they do with their students are assessed and moderated by other teachers from IB schools. I would now like to invite to the stage Isabel. Isabel is one of our IB seniors who will tell us about her IB visual arts portfolio. Isabel. Isabel, an IB art student has to do so much more than make pretty pictures. So I'd like you to tell us uh, where you got the ideas, what's going on here, and uh, tell us about this intriguing work. Okay, well, my theme for IB art was childhood, is childhood. Um, in particular, I like to explore the darker side of childhood through my work. I've always been interested in the way children respond to um, fear and unhappiness in their life. And I've done several projects that explore the theme of comfort objects as a way that children respond to unhappiness. So let's hear what uh, a recent graduate, uh, uh, Larson Holt, had to say about his English oral in a live uh, Skype that happened last week. particular poem that I got um, was a Margaret Atwood poem called uh, Song of the Worms. It talks about oppression in various ways. It's actually kind of uh, vague. So because of that, the reader has the opportunity to really interpret um, the sort of oppressors as whatever is oppressing to them. That's what I found particularly interesting about the poem. I'm taking IB music higher level. So what that means is at the end of this year, I need to submit 20 minutes of performance in uh, whatever instruments I play. I have a three hour long examination, I do believe. And so yeah, it's written and it's analyzing music and you're argumenting with music. That's pretty fun, really hard if, you, if you're up for it. How do quasi-mathematical, sequential puffs of air vibrating on human tympanic membranes have direct access to our emotions sometimes very intense emotions, like nostalgia, or patriotism, or the sublime. The take home here is that the IB experience, integrated into this experience, is the opportunity for high school students to think philosophically, to step back from normal classes and the normal relentless knowledge acquisition, to take, to, to take almost an out of body experience, if you like, and have, and ask meta questions about the nature of knowledge itself. I always selected history because I loved the way that it told stories, the way that there was a cause and an effect, the way that you got to study the human condition in multiple different scenarios and see the way it repeated, which is a bit of TOK. <laughs> so I loved that. And so when it came time to choosing my IB topic, history was a no-brainer. <laughs> so Robin, tell us about your own IB customized profile. So I customized my IB profile to take three languages, English, French, and Spanish. And not only this, but maybe if you're looking at it at first glance, I seem to resemble your classic liberal arts non-specialist performing nicely across the whole range of disciplines kind of guy. <laughs> now, Mr. Brown likes to call this being a renaissance man. Welcome, Jasmine. Well, tell us about your extended essay. So I did my extended essay in psychology, and my topic is investigating memory storage and brain structure in patients with a condition called hyperthymesia. Well, for our audience, can you please tell us what is this hyperthymesia? <laughs> yes, hyperthymesia is a condition in which an individual can remember everything that's ever happened in their life, but they have been known to have trouble maintaining relationships, probably because it's very frustrating 
to be with someone who always wins every single argument because they're right about everything. Now, let's hear about the travels of Alexander Zotak. The biggest moment in, in India for me was we went to Varanasi, which is basically the cultural capital of northern India. And at five in the morning, we went on a boat ride on the Ganges with three Indian classical musicians playing as the sun rose. And that was probably one of the most amazing, extremely spiritual moments of my life. I just somehow felt like really connected to India, connected to the world, connected to everybody. As we move on towards the end of our presentation, I would now like to invite on the stage three recent graduates to tell us what the IB did for them. While the IB in itself is an excellent program, what truly made it worthwhile for me and what I cherished the most from my time at International was the passionate, engaging way the faculty brought the IB and its core values to life. But more than that, their influence transcended the academic realm. They educated my whole being, and they helped me to grow as a thinker and a person. I knew that I wanted to tailor my curriculum to the sciences, so I decided to take um, high-level biology and chemistry. What that did for me is it provided a solid foundation on how interdisciplinary the subjects are. The IB taught me how to, how to think like a scientist, to not just to accept knowledge, but rather to question it. And to this day, that's one of the reasons that I'm thriving in college. Now, a large part of the learning comes from the quality of one's teachers and peers. But on top of the learning community, there is the understanding that all subjects must work together, even in very small ways, for any progress to be made. Now, as somebody who wants to dedicate their life to solving the climate crisis, it's this perspective that led me to minor in public policy while majoring in environmental engineering at Cal. Because I realized that change doesn't happen simply by focusing only on science or policy. Change happens as a result of people applying the two together to real world problems. So I do hope that we have succeeded in provoking, intriguing, and inspiring you tonight. Um, I hope that you have a better sense of how the two-year IB diploma works, how, what it entails, and why we think it is so special.